Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 27th of June where I go through and set up just one of our signals that our members receive. So in the members area, our members get the choice of potential long fifth wave trades, short fifth wave trades and they're on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame and also the stochastic longs and stochastic short trades on intraday. Um, I've chosen short trades today, fifth wave, uh, in the members area on for this particular section they just click on the image and download the spreadsheet for today and the spreadsheet looks like this. So this is the daily time frame again we have for the weekly and the 60 minute on the same spreadsheet. I'm concentrating on the daily time frame today for a potential short. As you can see these are the signals for today, the 27th of June. So have a look at the chart. Okay, so this is the chart for AMX on the daily. I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com uh, for the Ninja Trader platform, Ninja Trader NT8. It's also available for TradeStation, MultiCharts, and Think or Swim platforms. So, first of all, for those members that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, I've isolated the start of this big bearish move on AMX back here on the 18th of the 4th, 18th of April and then as we can see the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite has automatically labelled this bear move 1, 2, 3 and then we've had the Wave 4 pullback. So let's just quickly discuss the three filters that our members get in the signals. So first of all the first filter is the Wave 4 pullback has happened against the main trend. In this case it's found resistance in the amber zone that means there's an 80 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 low into our automated target zone down here around about 1424. also the second filter is this oscillator down here this is pulled back between 90 and 140 percent as you can see that's in within that zone and then also the stochastic false breakout so what's happened is the yellow dots on the bottom denote a very strong bearish move. The stochastics pulled back against that move and crossed over in the overboard zone. The likelihood is it wants to return to that main bearish move and will cross over and come back down on the fifth wave. Let's set this up very quickly. So very, very simple setup here. We have the wave 4 high from yesterday with the red doji. We're looking for that now to turn back down. Obviously, if it goes a little bit high, we've got to adjust. But as we stand right now before the markets, this is the setup. We are entering below the 6-4 moving average low, the red moving average line here for today's bar position. And just below this pivot point here. Uh, so the entry is 1574 short for AMX. The stop loss is just above that high there. Um, which is 1668 that gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into our target zone around about 1424 so that's it very very simple we've had a great bearish move on this it's pulled back against there all of our filters and indicators are showing that if this resistance level holds we can get a new wave 5 low so that's it for today the potential short on AMX for the daily time frame have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.